In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Good morning, everyone. And welcome to the Minor Basilica of Our Lady of the Holy Rosary. Let's begin our celebration by first pausing for a while. Call to mind all our sins and all our failures and ask God for forgiveness and strength. You were sent to heal the contrite of art. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Draw near to your servants, O Lord, and answer their prayers with unceasing kindness that for those who glory in you as their creator and guide, you may restore what you have created and keep safe what you have restored. So our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the book of the prophet Jeremiah. At that time, says the Lord, I will be the God of all the tribes of Israel, and they shall be my people. Thus says the Lord, the people that escaped the sword have found favor in the desert. As Israel comes forward to be given his rest, the Lord appears to him from afar. With age old love, I have loved you, so I have kept my mercy toward you. Again, I will restore you, and you shall be rebuilt, O Virgin Israel. Carrying your festive tambourines, you shall go forth dancing with the merrymakers. Again, you shall plant vineyards on the mountains of Samaria. Those who plant them shall enjoy the fruits. Yes, a day will come when the watchmen will call out on Mount Ephraim. Rise up, let us go to Zion, to the Lord our God. For thus says the Lord, shout with joy for Jacob. Exalt at the head of the nations. Proclaim your praise and say, the Lord has delivered his people, the remnant of Israel. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord will guard us as a shepherd guards his flock. The Lord will guard us as a shepherd guards his flock. Hear the word of the Lord, O nations. Proclaim it on distant isles and say, He who has scattered Israel now gathers them together. He guards them as a shepherd, his flock. The Lord will guard us as a shepherd guards his flock. The Lord shall ransom Jacob. He shall redeem him from the hand of his conqueror. Shouting, they shall mount to the heights of Zion. They shall come streaming to the Lord's blessings. The Lord will guard us as a shepherd guards his flock. Then the virgin shall make merry and dance, and young men and old as well. I will turn their mourning into joy. I will console and gladden them after their sorrows. The Lord will guard us as a shepherd guards his flock. Please stand. A great prophet has arisen in our midst, and God has visited his people.
The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. At that time, Jesus withdrew to the region of Tyre and Sidon. And behold, a Canaanite woman of that district came and called out, Have pity on me, Lord, son of David. My daughter is tormented by a demon. But he did not say a word in answer to her. His disciples came and asked him, Send her away, for she keeps calling out after us. He said in reply, I was sent only to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. But the woman came and did him homage, saying, Lord, help me. He said in reply, It is not right to take the food of the children and throw it to the dogs. She said, Please, Lord, for even the dogs eat the scraps that fall from the table of their masters. Then Jesus said to her in reply, O woman, great is your faith. Let it be done for you as you wish. And her daughter was healed from that hour. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Magandang umaga po ulit sa inyong lahat and welcome to the Minor Basilica of Our Lady of the Holy Rosary. Itong gospel natin ang, ang napaka-predominant na message na makikita natin ay yung compassion. Compassion ni Jesus. Compassion, yung capacity to suffer with someone else. Pag may malasakit sa Tagalog, pag may malasakit, na nakikisama ka, nakikihalo ka, sa mga pinagdadaanan ng ibang tao. Compassion yeah. is a capacity to suffer with someone else. Pero ang tanong natin siguro, pwede, kung, pwede natin tanongin natin sarili, may hangganan ba? May hangganan ba ang pagmamalasakit? Hanggang kailan ba nagmamalasakit? Or, in English, is there a limit to our compassion? Is there a limit to our compassion? When we, when we talk about limits, we might look at it in two ways. Una, we limit us to, in terms of how much can we do? How much can we do for others out of compassion? Ano-ano ang pwede natin gawin para sa para si ibang mga tao sa pagmamalasakit? What else, what can we do and how much, how far can we go? in showing and uh, giving compassion to others. Limit yun, di ba? So, pwede natin tanong natin sarili, hanggang kailan, hanggang saan ba tayo magiging compassionate? Ano-ano yung pwede natin gawin para tayo maging compassionate? Pwede ba tayong, kaya ba natin magbigay ng malaking amount ng pera sa mga nangailangan, sa mga nasa lanta ng bagyo, or, or an individual na talaga naghihingi ng tulong? Kaya, kaya ba ng compassion natin na magbigay ng malaking pera? Or, kaya ba natin na magdala na isang stranger sa ospital, katulad ng Good Samaritan? Meron ba tayong ganong compassion? Where? Nasaan yung limit? Hanggang saan ba yung ating compassion? Pwede natin tanongin yung ating sarili. Pangalawang limit na klase na pwede natin tanongin yung sarili natin is yung kanino? Sino ba? Sino-sino ba ang pwede natin, kaya natin um, pagmalasakitan? Who are the people we can be comfortable in being compassionate with? Or compassionate to? Kanina ba tayo pwede maging compassionate? Sa mga kamag-anak, dapat lang sa pamilya, no? sa asawa, sa mga anak, kapatid, magulang. Pero iba pa, yung extended family, o kaya yung kapitbahay. Kaya ba natin maging compassionate para sa kapitbahay, lalo na yung kapitbahay na makulit? Kaya ba ba? Kaya ba natin maging compassionate? Kaya ba natin magmalasakit sa mga taong nakasakit sa atin? May malaking utang sa atin na hindi pa binabayaran. Kaya ba natin maging compassionate dun? Pwede natin yung tanuin sa ating sabili. Bakit natin kailangan tanuin yung ating sabili? Kasi i-compare natin kung yung kaya natin, whether in terms of degree, what we can give, what we can do, 
and who who we can help, who we can be compassionate to, compare natin yan sa compassion ni Jesus. Bakit? Eh kasi kristyano tayo. Sumusunod tayo kay Jesus, di ba? So dapat, masundan din natin kung ano yung compassion ni Jesus Christ. Sa gospel, pinakita na napakaganda ang daming qualities ng compassion ni Jesus. Unang-una, lumapit sa kanya yung isang Canaanite woman. Hindi yung katribo. Hindi yung kababayan. In fact, meron silang konting alitan yung mga Israelites, mga Jews, at sa mga Canaanites. Hindi yung katribo. And yet, in the gospel, uh, we, as a whole, yung sa una, siguro hindi, but later on, makita natin na even the Canaanite woman was helped by Jesus. So Jesus became compassionate to the Canaanite woman. Kahit na ininsulto pa niya ng kaunti, parang ininsulto pa niya, no? Sabi niya, it is not right to take the food of the children and throw it to the dogs. In short, kinumpere ni Jesus yung Canaanite woman to a dog. Grabe ng insulto, no? And yet, binawi din later on. Kasi doon sa sinabi niyang yun, sumagot naman yung Canaanite woman in a very humble way, filled with faith. Anong sabi? Sabi ng mga Canaanite woman, but even the dogs eat the scraps that fall from the table of their masters. Kahit yung mga aso, kahit na yung bumabagsak lang mula sa table ng, ng amo, kinakain ng mga aso. Tinanggap niya, kung gusto mo kami tratatuhin na para aso, fine. But we can, we can still get the, you know, whatever is left over, whatever is thrown out, um, outside of the master's table. So the compassion of Jesus reaches beyond regional differences. Kahit na hindi na isulat. Makikita naman natin yan sa ating buhay, no? sa mundo. Ang compassion ng Panginoon, hindi kumikilala ng ikaw ba yung Ilocano, Tagapagasinan, Pampanga, Amerikano, Mexicano, Russo. God is compassionate to all His sons and daughters, to all His children. Walang regional differences. Also, Jesus sees the great faith. Nakita niya, hindi lang siya basta-basta generic na compassion. No? Nakita niya yung faith nung Canaanite woman. So he also sees our faith. He also sees our faith. Of course, whether we, are, we have a deep faith or a very shallow faith, God continues to be compassionate to us. But it's, it's nice to know that Jesus sees our faith. Nakikita ng Diyos kung ano naman ang puso natin. Kung talaga bang naniniwala tayo katulad ng paniniwala ng Canaanite woman. Pangatlo, sabi, nung nahila yung, ni Jesus yung, ay, sinagot na yung, ni Jesus yung Canaanite woman, ang sabi, um, let it be done for you as you wish. Sabihin, kapag nagdadasal tayo, Lalo na kung tama na yung dasal natin, kung galing naman ng pure intention, with a pure heart, hindi lang para sa atin, kundi para sa iba, katulad ng dasal nitong Canaanite woman. Sometimes God answers our prayers according to our wishes. Sometimes. Minsan, according to God's wish. According to God's plan. Most of the time, according to God's plan. Sometimes, if our prayers is the right prayer, God answers us according to our wish, as we wish. Finally, do naman galing sa first reading, sabi, God's compassion restores goodness and bears fruit. So, ibinabalik yung kabutihan, yung nagre-renewal, nagkakaroon ng renovation, nagkakaroon ng pagbabago, yung compassion dahil sa compassion ng Panginoon. Hindi ang Diyos ang nagbabago. Kasi hindi mo kailangan magbago ng Diyos. Laging bago yan. Pero tayo, pag tumanggap tayo ng compassion ng Panginoon, dapat, dapat may pagbabago. Nagiging tayong mas mabait, mas mabuti, mas ma- maawain, mas generous, mas forgiving. Nagkakaroon dapat ng pagbabago. Kaya kung sa buhay natin, walang pagbabago, baka hindi natin nararamdaman ng compassion ng Panginoon. Nandyan yung compassion ng Diyos, kaya lang hindi natin napapansin, hindi natin nakikilala. 
hindi natin nararecognize. Kasi kung nararecognize natin yun, dapat nagkaroon ng pagbabago. At nag, nila nagbago, nagbunga pa. Kailangan magbubunga our compassion or God's grace for us needs to renew us and also allows us and makes us, helps us to bear fruit. To bear fruit in godly actions, in kindness, generosity, and so on and so forth. So, kumakalat. Kumakalat yung compassion ng Diyos. Kapag tumanggap tayo ng compassion, parang ripple sa sa, anyan, sa lake or sa batis, no? kumakalat, umiikot. Kumakalat. We bear fruit in others. So, tinatanong sa atin ngayon, challenge tayo, investigahin natin yung ating pagmamalasakit. At kung walang pagmamalasakit, eh, dapat mag-isip-isip din. Kahit, kahit pa paano, dahil bilang kristyano, dapat meron tayong pagmamalasakit. Pero hanggang saan ang pagmamalasakit natin? Hanggang kanino ang pagmamalasakit natin? Siguro siya sagot ng Diyos dyan, sana for all. Sana all. Sana all may malasakit at sana all pinapakitaan ng pagmamalasakit. Pati yung sarili. Dapat din, meron tayong compassion pa para sa ating sarili. So, maawain din tayo dapat sa ating sarili. Pero hindi lang sa ating sarili, kundi sa ibang tao. Let us pray that the compassion of God be our compassion as well. That we be as compassionate as God is compassionate. Let us all stand up. Jesus Christ tore down the barrier separating Jews from Gentiles. As one people of one new and eternal covenant, let us pray to the, to the God who unites us. After each petition, we say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That the church throughout the world may become a channel of God's mercy, peace, and love. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer that as a community of believers, we may not be divided by petty barriers of hatred and prejudice. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That mothers who are anxious and deeply worried about their children's health may never fail to turn to Jesus for support and comfort. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer that we may show care and concern for suffering people regardless of their status, race, or religion. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That those who have departed from this life may rejoice forever in God's heavenly home. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray for our own personal intentions for the special intentions of this Mass. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Almighty God, our refuge and our strength, your wish is to unite all people. May we always be sensitive to the needs of others and never exclude anyone from our company. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Bless are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have this bread to offer, which earth has given and human hands have made. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have this wine to offer, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever.
Please all stand. Pray, my dear friends, that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Graciously sanctify these gifts, O Lord, we pray, and accepting the oblation of this spiritual sacrifice, make of us an eternal offering to you, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For just as through your beloved Son you created the human race, so also through him, with great goodness, you formed it anew. And so it is right that all your creatures serve you, all the redeemed praise you, and all your saints with one heart bless you. Therefore we too extol you with all the angels as in joyful celebration we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, Lord God, God of hosts, heaven, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed, Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Lord. Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. <coughs> In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more, giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. <clears throat> the mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Socrates, our bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Saint Joseph, her most chaste spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Please stand. Let us pray now to our Father in heaven in the words that our Lord himself has taught us. Our Father, Father who, art who art in heaven, heaven hallowed, hallowed be thy name. name. Thy kingdom, thy kingdom come, come, thy will, thy be, will done be done on earth, earth as it is in heaven. heaven. Give, give us this day our daily bread, bread and, and forgive, forgive us our trespasses, trespasses as we forgive, forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days 
that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will. We live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. <clears throat> Lamb of God, Lamb of God take, take away the sins, sins of the world. world. Have, have mercy, mercy on us. Lamb of God, God take away the sins, the sins of the world. Of the world. Have, have mercy, mercy on us. Lamb of God, take, take away, away the sins of the world. world. Grant Amen. us peace. Please kneel. <clears throat> this is Jesus, the Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world. Happy are we who are called to this banquet. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Let us pray. Kindly all stand. Eh? 
Accompany with constant protection, O Lord, those you renew with these heavenly gifts, and in your never-failing care for them, make them worthy of eternal redemption. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Maraming maraming salamat po sa inyong lahat sa pakikisa sa Santa Misa. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you all, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Mass is ended. We go in the peace and the love of Christ. Thanks be to God. We shall now pray for the sick and bless your religious articles. Our help is in the name of the Lord. Who made heaven and earth. God, our Almighty Father, by your blessing, you give us strength and support in our frailty. Turn with kindness toward our sick brothers and sisters. Free them from all illness and restore them to good health through the intercession of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, so that in the sure knowledge of your goodness, they will gratefully bless your holy name. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. In memory of the mysteries of the life, death, and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ, and to the honor and glory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of Christ, Mother of the Church, Our Lady of the Rosary. May all these articles be blessed and those who use them made holy as they fulfill the will of God according to the example of the Blessed Mother in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.